this will probably be my last one for tonight, but what's up, you guys? It's your Uncle Seven Night. <clears throat> the Spiritual Savage, fresh out the show. Look at my hair. Yeah, look at all that gray, though. What in the It's wisdom. Wisdom. Thank you for joining me. Let's thank our my dad, our dad, uh, the Most High God, for bringing us here to commune with the divine at this given time and for divine protection, uh, some good laughs, and uh, a nice, warm place to be. You know, let's show some gratitude. Thanks, Dad. You're awesome. I love you. Appreciate you. Um, what's up, baby? Hmm. All right, let's let's do it. All right. So um, I getting these. Guys, we know when I get the guy bumps, I gotta jump on and see what the download is. Um, uh, we're just gonna go with it because I, you know, I've not received it all. But did it come out? Did it come out? Um. Oh, excuse me. Spiritual burp. Uh, hope everybody's having a nice evening. Hope you're eating well. Um, yeah, I made some. Uh, Baked smothered chicken with some rice and some vegetables. Very good. All right. Um, so, yeah. But let's pull some cards. Let's use the Urban Tarot deck. We're going to return to Cinder 10 times fold. Guided with love and light. <laughs> Things that do not belong to the collective in me. Some more to be, some more to be, some more to be. And so it is. We're also going to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all ear hustling demons uh, go deaf. Archangel Michael, please uh, protect this reading and protect the collective. Uh, from any uh, you know dark demons, shape shift uh, skinwalkers, uh, uh, you know dark wizards and witches and warlocks, little dick warlocks and uh, ugly wicked bitches in the forest, and Narmix. Okay, um, whoever is uh, calling my phone from all these numbers, uh, stop calling. I'm not gonna answer. Leave a message, bitch. All right, let's do it. So what's the what is the message? Tell me what you uh, like for us to see. Tell me what I need to see here. What's the message? Uh, Spirit just alerted me to the dark mirror deck. So let me pull a card out of here, and we'll clarify with the urban tarot deck. Um, see what comes out here. It's a general collective energy read. Merchants to dream. Number 28. Somebody could be 28. Um, 8 plus 10 is an... Uh, 8 plus 2 is 10 is an ending. So somebody could be having an ending. But what a perchants to dream. Uh, it says, if I sleep long enough, when I wake up, the pain will have been gone. Uh, to die, to sleep, perchants to dream. Or... Um, it is a time to surrender, to drown, to dive in headfirst in the cozy, all, envel and, and all enveloping darkness of the blanket. It is a moment of weakness, a desire to close your eyes and surrender uh, just for one moment, one second, one minute. Uh, not like a hero fighting the world, but like a kid just welcoming the darkness outside within fully. It says uh, it, it's the new moon phase it's for anybody that's wondering, but this is the denial stage. So somebody's in denial. Somebody feels like, um, you know, it's kind of like a out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Uh, somebody's um, running away from something. Uh, they feel like if they go to sleep or if they ignore something long enough, it just goes away. But we all know, like, uh, if there's something uh, bad or horrible going on, that um, it festers. It, it sits and it festers. It's kind of like a decomposing body. Uh, you can hide that motherfucker underneath your bed. Uh, but I, I guess I don't know what what how long does it take for a body to start smelling? But I guess about seven days, you know, after on the eighth day, you know, you're you're still walking around the house, you know, uh, smelling smelling rot, and uh, you're like, uh, yeah, and somebody comes in, and is like, what's that smell? You're like, nothing. What do you see? Smell? Are you trying to say my house is nasty? It's like, no, something stinks in your dog. No, I don't. I don't get it. You're gaslighting your they're gaslighting themselves. A narmic. Gaslighting a delusional narmic gaslighting themselves. They're gaslighting themselves. I'll tell you what. Thank you, Spirit, for the download. Somebody's in denial about something. Uh, I'm not saying this has anything to do with a dead body. It could. But I don't think so. I think it has something to do with somebody um, uh, throwing a rock at themselves and then hiding their hand like, who threw that rock? So they did something. Somebody did something. 
and they're trying to run away from. It. They're trying to act like if you know, I didn't do it. I, I, they convinced themselves that they didn't do it. That sounds a lot like Piscean energy because Pisces have a, a unique talent, and it's not always a bad thing, but you know it can be problematic because Pisces are about dreams and fantasy. Um, they're heavily psychic too, but Pisces can um, make you believe anything. They really can, and but they but they have a way of going into their own, creating their own realities in uh, in in this world that that they truly and honestly will believe. Now that's a good thing if 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 you're if it's a, something that motivates you in a positive way, keep you going. It ain't bothering or hurt nobody. But it's a horrible thing if somebody's doing something horrible, and uh, you know the, the the results of the said actions are on display for everyone to see except the person that's done it. That's some crazy shit. We've all done that, though. You know, we've all. Oh, it's you know. Uh, uh, oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna. It's happened. Oh no, I'm okay. No, you're really not okay. And and, and uh, sleeping underneath the covers and uh, depression. Depression. That's the. Thank you, spirit. Depression does us. You know, we'll do that. You know, make you just all your problems will go away uh, if I just if I sleep all the time, or if you're drinking, using drugs, you know, sex, you know, whatever, Eat, overeating, um, overdo, overdoing anything, overindulgence in anything is really just a distraction from something else. It's a symptom of a problem. That's what I heard. All right, so let's get some energy on this. Okay, well, there's a tower at the bottom of the deck. So this there's a tower. What's the tower? Uh, the Princess of Wands. So uh, this is a this could be communication of a passion, some type of passionate communication. But this is a, the dancer. It's a, a, she's a, a burlesque dancer at that. Uh, so this could be for a younger, a younger energy, a woman, possibly a feminine energy or a masculine energy. Take the energy as it resonates. But this is somebody that could be an, a fire sign, a, 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 a gym. A, so I was going to say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be, but uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that I'm pick, I'm picking up on the fact that somebody took a, the wrong risk, and there's a tower coming from this wrong risk. They are uh, in denial about uh, the uh, the outcome, the tower. They're in denial about the tower that they know is coming. They're in about cause and effect. What you th what you throw out comes back to you. Star, thank you, Miss Hill. The universal law of karma. So let's see. Perchance, thank you, spirit. So we got the Hierophant energy. All these different numbers calling my phone. What? Um, but the Hierophant energy. Could be a Taurus. Um, but we'll see what comes out after that. So denial. Perchance to dream. Denial. Somebody could actually be underneath the covers right now. You, you could probably have a friend uh, that, you know, or somebody you know, maybe somebody you live with that has not gotten out of bed and they're just like, they're, they're not there. They're there, but they're not there. Can I get another card? Thank you, spirit. The journalist in the reversed, in the reversed, in the reverse, the prince of wands. Can I get another card, please? Archangel Michael, whoever's calling my phone, please uh, cut their fingers off. Thank you. Justice in the reverse. What did I say? The tower. Juju. Bad juju. <sighs> These motherfucking people, man. Let's get the higher font, please. All right. Let's clarify with our go now. Nouveau. These cards are big. We'll just get the closing message with this one. But we're going to use the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck for the clarifications. So we got the higher fine energy. That could be a spiritual leader. Could be, um, it could be court. Um, it could be uh, the head of a society. It's in the upright, so I'm picking up on the fact that um, it could possibly be court. Maybe they're in denial about some court proceedings. Or maybe they're in trouble with God. Or some type of religious figure. Hierophant can also represent a marriage. So it could be married, but let's see. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Thank you, Spirit. Two cards came out. We have the um, the Page of Pentacles 
and the knight of Pen the knight of swords in the upright. This is a communication of prosperity, uh, riches, money, earthly matters. It's in the reverse. Somebody's losing something. Are, are, are they? Uh, no, they're losing something. They're going to receive. They, they know they have some communication coming about them losing something. Something of, of value, money. Something um, uh, tangible. Tangible. There we go. And it's going to happen fast. They're coming after them. So this is kind of like, I just heard repo, like a repo kind of situation. So maybe somebody's getting something repossessed. Maybe somebody's uh, assets are being seized. Uh, garnishment, child support, you know, child support type shit. But this is court order. This is something with the courts. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they mismanaged some money. Robin Peter to pay Paul, I just heard. Give me another card. Uh, this has something to do with um, them either choosing their lower self. This is the lover's card. They could be a Gemini or it has something to do with a, a, a relationship that they're in. So a marriage. I said a marriage. So maybe somebody's, <laughs> somebody's headed for a divorce. We, we got the lovers followed by the uh, nine of swords. And this is depression. This is like sleepless nights and depression. They're crying in their bed by the covers. Come through spirit confirmation, baby. And then what do we have here? Oh, stanky. Yeah. And you see, you got the, the 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 male and female down there chained together underneath the devil. This was a bad, bad marriage. Coming after the lovers too. Yeah, they're in a bad partnership with somebody. They they embarked on a bad partnership, and because of this, they're losing everything. I'm picking up on a divorce. So somebody's getting a divorce. That's what I heard. Now they got to What I told you, they they're losing it. They got to give. They. have to, to bring balance into a situation mm -hmm. and to take the swords out of somebody's back because they put them in a third party trying to be slick see what I'm saying and what do we have here the decision they were going back and forth uh, they've been teeter-tottering maybe uh, but this also represents an eye for an eye uh, this card does and there's the tower so they got they basically got what they, they got what they they got what they got coming. And now they, this is the eight and the nine. Eight and nine. Somebody could be born in 89 or 98. Um, but whatever they did is, is going to lead them to jail. This is all the buyers there, right there. Whatever they did, is they, it's gonna, they're going to jail. I don't know what they did to going to jail, but we're about to find out because we got the journalists in the reverse. Uh, journalists, uh, this is something that... Uh, they don't want to come out. They don't want to be out. Outed. Maybe somebody's a, a, a homosexual. Undercover. Somebody's on the low. Uh, just, spirit is crazy. I just saw a picture of Diddy. Flash in my head. Damn. Sorry, Diddy. Well, I'm not ready. Whatever. Okay. But the journalist. Uh, they don't want something to be reported. They don't want something to come out. They don't want something publicized or, or getting out to the public. Let's talk about it. What is this Prince of Wands energy here? Yeah, it's coming out, baby. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. Can I get one for the journalist? Thank you, Spirit. About a bad investment. A bad investment. Oops. Seven of Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, please. Thank you, Spirit. You're awesome. Uh, somebody somebody's getting um uh, somebody's dropping this motherfucker somebody's dropping this energy whoever you know i hope it's nobody that you know that did that is in my collective group of people the soul tribe i hope not uh but somebody made the wrong investment they they, they don't want people to find out that they got dropped whoever whoever was um this could be this could actually be uh the details of the divorce come through spirit They don't, they don't want to, uh, whoever they're divorcing or breaking up from, because it doesn't have to really be a marriage, but since they are in front of a judge, but you know, two people can be together and still go before a court. If they own a business together, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But this could be a marriage, you know, um, people get married, could be same sex marriage, but they don't want, what they don't want to come out. This is why they're in denial. They're in denial because everything's about to come down on their ass and all their business is about to be poured 
that all their dirty laundry finna be out. Everything finna, it's all finna be in the streets. It's all about to be in the streets is what I just heard. So, uh, they don't want to come out about what kind of their, their horrible, whoever they were with them picking up, found out that this was the wrong person to be with. They made the wrong investment and they dropped them like a hot potato. That's what I heard. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in reverse as it relates to the journalist. The story that they don't want to come out. The Will of Fortune in the reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess that... Do we want to know what's what, what's going to be told? I mean, we can't... I mean, you know. Uh, I don't, I mean, I, we just fucking know. We, we could just use your imagination. I mean, I think we kind of figured it out here. They had him in a third party. It was some type of third party situation. Um, I did say uh, this could be a, a same, like a, 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 you know, a straight couple. I'm picking up on the fact that since they showed me Diddy, that somebody is, was, been, was on the low. They don't want that to come out. They don't want it to come out. And you got justice in the reverse. So here we go again. We have the lovers. No, that's the Two of Cups. I'm sorry. This is the Two of Cups. This is about a partnership uh, that somebody was trapped in their head about a partnership that came out. Yep. Uh, they could. They felt maybe like they couldn't have a new life. Maybe they were stuck in their head, picking up on the fact that this probably was somebody that was uh, in the closet, uh, messing around with another dude, maybe. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. That's why, I mean, people go through divorces every single day and things get really nasty. But, you know, uh, there's nothing worse for a man but to go through a divorce uh, and have his wife tell everybody that he uh, is a is a homosexual. Nope. He was low vibing. He was cheating on his wife. Or whatever. Justice in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. What's the justice in the reverse? Thank you, spirit. Uh, they're trapped. They can't go anywhere. Why not? There's nowhere for them to go. They're stuck. Yeah, there we go again. At the bottom of the deck. They're stuck because of this uh, third party uh, situation. There goes another three. Yeah. Third party situation. This is heartbreak. Uh, this is a, like somebody cheating on somebody. And this is, this is business. So maybe this is why he's going to jail. Because of business matters. We do have that is followed by the... Um, the uh, he could have been in business with a with a Gemini or Virgo, or in a water sign. Yeah, see, because there goes the Ace of Wands to have the brand new passionate beginning. It made some there was some type of business matters that happened. Oh shit, uh, that's really messy. I don't want to say that, but uh, maybe this is what his wife found out about him and these two dudes. Are you serious? I mean, it it trust 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 me. It actually happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe they were trying to have some, the three of these people, uh, maybe this is just something that broke, broke his wife's heart. I don't want to take it to a sexual level cause it may not even be that, but, uh, overall this is, I'm picking up on the fact that this is confirmation. This was a bad idea. Um, this is something that's going to break some hearts, whatever this business, uh, business agreement was. That's what it is. Uh, he's also a homosexual though. We picked that up earlier. Okay. Uh, but, uh, it was about business, about getting the Ten of Pentacles. He was, he was, they, this was him, this energy, uh, a magician energy. So Gemini Virgo and a, and a King of Cups, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Tell us about uh, what happened here. Spirit said, go back to the Urban Tarot deck. So that's what we're going to do. Spirit said, because it's going to give us more of a descriptive uh, answer with the you know, titles at the bottom. So, uh, yeah, this whoever this is, is is definitely in denial. This tower's coming. I can see why they're probably underneath the covers and uh, don't want to be bothered. They want they don't want to because they, they know it's coming down. It's coming down on that ass. Here goes the Ace of Wands again. Yep, look it. No peace. That's what's in, that's what's in, that's that's this is a new beginning. This could represent a passionate new beginning. A passionate new beginning does not mean that uh, it's going to be good. It just means it's going to be a passionate beginning into something new, and there's no peace behind that. 
he's under some control of somebody uh, that's he's being manipulated power and in the mage in the reverse that's dark manipulation could be dark magic mm hmm yeah give me another card please what did he do what did he do business wise what did he do business wise this is deep what did he do clarify spirit thank you damn the tower again he created it created a tower uh, a tower that can't be stopped interference is in the reverse failure he failed and he can't walk away from his failure mm -mm, he can't uh, this is the eight of cups in reverse yeah, he can't walk away from that failure uh, and this and this tower cannot be stopped can be interfered with I just heard if, 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 if this resonates with you and if 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 you know who if, if you know who this is uh, the interference in the reverse uh, also means stay out of the way do not try to stop the karma you if you try to protect this person or save them from what they have coming uh, you will share some of that karma is what I just heard what did he do though spirit thank you we got the star We got the star and the ace of disc. And then power in the reverse. He had to let go of. Um, so the star talks about healing. It also talks about balance. Um, it's also could represent an Aquarius. An Aquarius who uh, hold the money. Ace of disc. He gave up his power to an Aquarius that was coming through with a with, with some with a money offer this could be have something to do about music rock star so maybe it was like a record deal or a music deal he gave up his power signed a bad contract maybe clarify clarify power clarify power please thank you cruelty he signed a bad contract There we go again. The mage and see the piano. This is about somebody in the music industry. It is. Um, he manip he used some type of magic to to get. I mean, this is what it is. Yep. He wasn't strong enough for whatever he sent out. He wasn't strong enough for uh, for the magic he used. And that's again the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yeah. He 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 he's uh okay. So this is this is worry and then works. The three. Uh, he wasn't he he didn't have a concern about doing the work. He wasn't doing the work. That's what I heard. Uh, he wasn't. I'm picking up on the fact that he wasn't doing the work. Like maybe he makes music and was. And maybe he was making music that um, he was using somebody else's music. Maybe he wasn't worried about working with other people. He wasn't worried about it though. But the but the mage represents manipulation, some type of magic, uh, and the piano being there. Uh, maybe he was doing something. Uh, yeah. See, work again. See. Yep. Truce. Yep, they're not gonna let him. He's 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 he doesn't know what to do now. There's not gonna be an agreement. The truce. There's no truce. Clarify. Twenty three thirty two on the clock. He has to look at himself for what he for what he did. He can't look at himself for what he did. That's, thank you. Again, the lovers in the reverse. Uh, gain. So lovers gain and uh, strife. The seducer. Mm. He was seduced into something or he seduced somebody for something. Uh, I'm picking up on the fact that yeah, this motherfucker might have been in some type of gigolo. Or maybe he sold his his soul to do something for sex, for money. It did not work out like that. Now he got problems. I mean, it sounds all over the place, but really, you don't take the energy as it resonates. I mean, look on the news. Go to a blog site. This These celebrities actually do this kind of shit. Or people do this kind of shit to get into... Uh, the music industry yeah the painter see is in the reverse whatever 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 he was painting um, this is the queen of swords so the untruth he made things unclear he's very unclear about what he was doing and now the secrets are coming out all of his secrets are coming out that's why his ass is in the bed under the covers scared 
I guess I would be too. If 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 and I said if if I did shit like that, you know, that's why it's important to always um be yourself, be authentic, uh, to be vulnerable to um, people. Uh, you know, don't hide anything. If you got something to hide. If you have something to hide, then there's a whole lot. There's a whole. There's a whole lot that you're hiding. That's just the way I look at it. You know, because uh, I'm not saying tell everybody all your business, but you know, when people are hiding something, that means something's wrong. Uh, which usually means something is really wrong. Like once you, generally speaking, if you find out something that someone's hiding, what does that usually mean? Well, you find out one thing, and then it just it's Pandora's box is open, and now generally. All the bullshit comes out, all and it, and it's and, and and then you be like, damn, I can see why they didn't want to tell nobody, but you still should tell people the truth. Be honest with people. Uh, let's get a rebel oracle card, please, to close out the reading. Thank you, spirit. We got two. Wake up, you're missing some cool shit. Stop sleeping so damn much. <laughs> oh shit. Winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin it with that shit. And this was in the reverse. And then here we go. Whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. That's what I heard. That's what we just read. Uh, so let's close out this reading. Uh, damn. I hope this helps somebody or just provides more insight into something, you know, that you may have going on or somebody else you know has going on. Uh, there wasn't any really... Kind of any really ad good advice that well, not, I'm not gonna say that. Excuse me, cards. I'm just gonna say that you know, uh, this is just a. Re I guess just this is what spirit wanted somebody to know. Somebody gotta know what's going on in their life. I guess I don't know. Damn. Uh, but you you could be wondering why somebody's not getting out of bed or why they not themselves. This is why. If you're thinking of, if okay, so let's. I'm not saying that people's dreams can't come true. I'm not saying that because trust and believe at 43 years old, I, there are things I still want to do that I did that I that I could have maybe done 20 years ago. Maybe not, though, because life experiences uh, kind of uh, they, they enrich they enrich the, uh, the, the you know, our experiences enrich enrich our uh, our uh, what you know, the things we want to put in our ambition. There we go. Enrich our ambition. And, and you know, like I like I always wanted to write. But, you know, uh, my life experiences. Would, I mean, if I would have written anything 20 years ago, nobody would have read it. It just wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been any good. Uh, my life experiences did not afford me uh, to be a good writer. I was a good writer, but to give good stories, to be able to tell a story that people would be able to vibe with. But, you know, at 43 years old, after everything I've gone through, yes, I could write a book now and people would actually read it. I do what I would like to say this, though. Uh, about the music industry, though. See, I don't not in the music industry, but I know that a very small percentage of people actually make it big in the music industry. So, if you are okay, a forty-five year old aspiring rapper, and you got to do something strange for some change or to sign that contract, nine times out of ten, you just suck. You just you just did something strange for somebody strange. And they knew damn well you wasn't going nowhere with it. You feel me? So I feel like that's kind of what happened here. I, I believe that somebody sacrificed themselves for something that was unattainable in the first fucking place. They did it for uh, the, the clout, the glitz and glamour, the money. Um, and and they, I'm thinking that from what I'm... I'm, I'm, at, I'm not going to say everything that I'm seeing and I'm hearing. I'll just say that they did a lot of different things to uh, satisfy uh, their need uh, or want or desire to get into an industry that they didn't belong in anyways because they wasn't even doing they, they weren't even doing their own music. They weren't they weren't the ones really doing the work. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. Closing out the reading. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage. I hope somebody got something out of this. All right. If not anything, maybe a good laugh or two. Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, whoever this is face the facts, whatever they did, but they're, they're, it's not looking good in court. They're, whoever they're married to is taking them for everything. And then after they take them for everything, they still owe these people that they were working with. And he still feel, he feels like, you know, how they throw a rag at somebody, clean yourself up. That's what happened to this person. All right. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so, uh, so tribe family, we're out. I love you. Thank you. Deuces.